The beauty of the problematized situation is it reveals all of the um, common error patterns, the misconcepts, the gaps, and the strengths. I use what I've learned from the problematized situation to plan the next day's strategy lesson. I call it just-in-time learning. I know what the kids need to know next. Um, so in the strategy lesson, what I'm going to do is put something up there. I'm going to ask the students to work on it. You'll notice I do no telling. I don't stand at the front and do chalk and talk. So with the fractions, for instance, the fraction was put up there with three different answers. The students were asked to find out which was the correct answer, if any, um, and to be able to prove. They were also asked to work with shoulder partners. That meant I was expecting them not to work alone, but to work with a partner to explain their thinking, um, to make sure their partner could understand what they were saying, and then doing that to clarify their own thinking. I want to tell you what happened to me the other day. I went to another school and the teacher had put some fractions up on the board and something went wrong. And I thought I'd share with you what I saw. So have a look up here. I'm going to play you a little animation I made of what happened the other day. Now, the teacher was a bit upset. She was so surprised at the range of answers that she got. Three quarters plus a half plus one eighth equals five fourteenths. Three quarters plus a half plus one eighth equals one and three eighths. Three quarters plus a half plus one eighth equals eleven eighths. And she went, ah! Is there a right answer here? Anyway, I thought I'd ask you to work on this today. Um, I'll leave this up there for you whilst you're thinking. So what I'd like you to do today is work with a shoulder partner. I don't want to see anybody working on their own, and I know there'll be a trio here. So with your shoulder partner, I want you to decide, is there a right answer there? But there's a rule when you're doing this one today. What I need is some diagrams or some working out that proves which answers are right, which are wrong. It might be nice to know why the kids had so many different answers, what went wrong. Just remember, I need some evidence, I need some diagrams or something. Yeah. 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 And then we'll add eight onto that. So eight. So we've got our one. So was I meant to draw an eighth as well? But that's what we've got at the moment. We saw a strategy lesson. You saw me put that um, set of fractions on the board with the wrong answers. What did you notice then? What happened then? I liked uh, the way the, the children in particular just got straight into talking to their partner um, side by side. But what really stood out for me was that um, the conversations, the diagrams, and I didn't see you working hard. The kids were working harder than you. <laughs> so why was that, do you think? because they should be doing the thinking. Right. Was I very finding necessary? Finding out themselves. Yeah. Finding out. Was, was I superfluous? Well, no, not necessarily, because you actually then ask specific questions of students as you're going around, so it's not because you're actually targeting questions to them so that they get more meaning from what they're doing or greater understanding. So um, from that point of view, no, but you're actually being quite specific with the questions who you're asking it to. So it's and not questioning, yeah. not telling. Yeah, yes. I, I know yes. sometimes when I see a kid work and I'll come over to their diagram and I'll say, oh, I can see you understand this, you've done this, this and this, where I notice you ask the kids to tell you what they've mm. done to um, verbalise what they had on the bit of paper and I guess it confirms it a bit for them and the more people around. Mm. So, so that was so interesting. You've come to part of it there, why do I do that? Well they actually clarify their thinking when they, if you're, if you're asking them to explain it then that's clarifying for them what they're actually doing. Because mm. you, could, you could give someone a formula and they might be able to write it but you could ask them and they won't be able to explain or show their understanding but with that sort of questioning it's actually They've done it, because you'll still find some kids when they go to explain it to you will go, oh, because they actually realise it might, might not make sense or it's not what they thought. So that mm. helps them clarify their thinking and so they're deepening their understanding yeah. as they